what's up everybody? Oh, Welcome oh, back. Yeah. Welcome back to the lobby. GameSpot's weekly hangout every Tuesday at 2 p.m. Pacific right here on GameSpot.com. The electronic triple is over, gentlemen. We survived. It's done and dusted. We're Mostly. alive still. Mostly yeah. alive. Yeah, but we got a fun show today. We got some, uh, we got Aaron Sampson here, Battlefield expert. I know, I'm itching to get forward here. I know, Battlefield so Hardline. Die. Hold your horses. Okay. Because I got to tell it. the folks what else we got to play today. We're going to play some FIFA uh, 14. The uh, World Cup pack has come out. Uh, for the next gen version, so we're going to get Marco Martinez and Eric Taylor on to do USA versus Germany. See how that works out. And then, an also, similar forward thinking future sports situation, we're going to have Jeff Gersman fight Anderson the Spider Silva and also uh, have Bruce Lee fight Chuck Morris, copyright in the UFC, EA Sports UFC, as it were. Is something wrong with your eye, Danny. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Nope. We could make Mario, but then Business Nintendo, as usual. Would, Nintendo would want a profit share of our stream. Chris Waters. Hey, buddy. How did you enjoy E3? Ah, uh, it's a it's a freaking blast, man. I even got to play two video games. What were the, what were the a, two? Video which is games? up from zero video <laughs> games last year. What were the two video games? I played you Video played? Ball live on stage, okay. uh, and then I got to play Evolve. Oh wow. Oh yeah, I was I, very happy. I played the Kraken, which is the new monster. I destroyed and everyone. The Kraken, also the so good. the monster whose arms go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I went <laughs> summon lightning bolts down to destroy mine enemies. Yeah. And it was glorious. Aaron, did you play any games at E3? I was playing some Battlefield Hardline. Nice. Um, and mostly just running around taking appointments. Yeah. But I, I'm cutting some Evolve today, so I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy about that I'm game. I'm racking my brains. I think maybe I didn't play anything this year. <laughs> Not, Not that one thing. I played one game the first year and two games last year, and I think maybe I went the entire <laughs> expo, whatever. You might have whatever, done a clean a mess. Video game. Ah, it's true. The best E3 experience, although being there is great, the best E3 experience is actually watching it on GameSpot.com. Nailed it. All right, Nailed it. Aaron Sampson, we didn't bring your beautiful face on this couch just Thank to you. talk about E3. Uh, Battlefield Hardline. Uh, so this is this was announced. <laughs> well, it was yeah. it was announced about a month before E3. Sort of leaked, little, little leaky on Battlelog. Yeah, for sure. Uh, you are you you are one of the experts on Battlefield. You're probably the person who plays Battlefield more than anyone in the office in your home time. I feel uh, right at the gate. What are your impressions of Hardline? So Visceral made or is making Battlefield Hardline instead of Dice this year. They sort of handed it off. Visceral mm. made, uh, I believe, it was Endgame uh, DLC for Battlefield Three. Oh right, did they? Okay. Yeah, they did. That was just recently announced. These guys are taking their best crack at their sort of crime drama Battlefield game. Mm. It's really interesting. Like I'm having a good time. I enjoy heist mode a lot. Um, I am also enjoying Blood Money. It does, so the, the, question, the big question right now is how does this game feel to players? Yeah. So right now, I think Visceral has a bit of an uphill battle because it feels like a mod or it feels like a, a piece of DLC. Yeah, I agree. And so they're really going to have to bring a lot more to the table to, to just convince Battlefield players that they're not just playing $60, just paying $60 for mm. you know, a slightly iterative experience. I guess that's where maybe the single player stuff uh, comes into the fold, but the beta mm -hmm. is out right now. Uh, I want you to jump in okay. uh, right now. We're gonna, we're gonna ask you a bunch of questions, and if folks at home have any uh, questions at all for Aaron and, and Chris as well, uh, feel free to uh, send them and use the, the usual. We've actually got the new GameSpot chat up, uh, which we had uh, over uh, E3. Uh, any folks who've uh, been familiar with Forest slash chat on Giant Bomb will know how it works. So if you have any uh, questions, do ask Danny O'Dwyer on that, or feel free to uh, just stick them at GameSpot on Twitter or in the Twitch chat, and uh, the folks in the back will, will get them out to me here. Uh, first of all, while Aaron's setting up, Chris Waters, have you played much of this yet? I've played a bit. Yeah, I've played a bit on uh, PC and on PlayStation 4. Of course, they announced the thing during the end of the EA press conference, kicking it off. Yeah. And we us all having to like wait a week to play it. Oh yeah, of course. Uh, the beta is out on PC, Xbox One, and PS4. Uh, probably. I'm not sure. Uh, but I've, yeah, so I've gotten a, t a bit of time with it on different consoles. Definitely, you know, Aaron. Aaron sort of cuts to the quick there with the, is does it feel like a mod? Does mm. it feel? And I mean, it's certainly in the beta form, it's of course going to because it's only a small multiplayer bit. There's only two modes, one map. 
Um, and it's, you know, it, it feels like some, it's running on Frostbite 3, it's the, your, the animations, all that stuff is very Battlefield. Yeah, like the boring. UI is, is basically what Battlefield looks like, like the colors of the teams and stuff. Yeah, but you I'm can sort everything. of get this glimpse of how they're trying to differentiate within the uh, loadout screens, within the progression screens. They're definitely trying to create yeah. a different visual look uh, okay. uh, in those areas. <laughs> Nicely done. That is some pretty great defense. The old park the uh, nice. car on top of the helicopter before it can take off move. That's pretty good. Uh, for before people ask, um, uh, Aaron's playing this on PC. They're getting moited. And doing the, uh, so he's he's got a self-revive. Okay. Uh, as part of his kit, which is really interesting. And I really, I remember ha this having this ability in Killzone 2 multiplayer. And oh, even yes. though it's something that like a lot of people can use in this game, you're just like hardwired to think dead is dead in yeah. a multiplayer shooter. So, so many times you use the self-revive and just get up and no one's looking at you. You can just could just murder everybody. Other times you blow up, Awful. but you know, whatever. Uh, Aaron, first of all, I want to ask you: uh, the vehicles in this game, uh, they feel a lot different to what the vehicles are used for, at least in Battlefield. Yeah, what, so what's your take on it? In Battlefield 4, anytime you had a vehicle that was a non-armored vehicle, like an MRAP, mm. like hit a pebble, the thing would just explode. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they were really, really underpowered. So I think Visceral has done a good job in this game of making cars more useful, and the purpose of that is so you can get into things like car chases. You know, cars handle better, they take more damage, um, they can bounce off objects, sometimes a little comically, like yeah. in the case of the motorcycle. You can ride that thing along walls. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you like hit a jaw, it'll, and it, it, what's interesting is it doesn't just like fly up next to the wall, it kind of looks like the tires like adhere to the wall a little bit, right. like because it tilts a little. And it's definitely like, a Matrix style like wall yeah, ride. Yeah, it's great. But, you know, again, I'm okay with these things as long as there's purpose behind them. And again, the purpose is to keep players in, in the battle longer, you know. You don't want to just be riding down the street in a vehicle and get hit by three bullets and your vehicle explodes and yeah. then there's no car chases because vehicles are too fragile. So, you know, Visceral said that was one of the ways they differentiated this game. That's true. Whether, you know, they need to talk about more things now, though. Mm. Like, they need to talk about... They brought, they brought some gadgets that are new, semi-new, like the zip line. Sort of a throwback to Battlefield 2 Special yeah, are, Forces. Are people using those? So the zip line's actually really cool to get from rooftop to rooftop. Is that mostly for snipers? Or? Yeah. Oh, well, other players can use it. For example, when you have get money and blood money, if you run down the middle of the street, you're just going to get run over by somebody. So mm. you can use a zip line to you know, bridge the gap between two areas or get down the street a lot faster. Now the grappling hook. Hold on, before we move on from zipline, yeah. <laughs> I just want to confess I was playing a match before we came on the show. Yeah, straight up shot to death by a zipline. Uh, oh wait, he got shot the zipline into ki you. A dude killed me Ow. with a zipline. <laughs> we were in this like he's on top of the garage and I'm kind of here. And it's like my my weapon wasn't too long range, so he lined it up it's and like then all of a sudden. I just die. That's like getting killed by a smoke grenade in Counter Strike. This cable is coming out of my kill cam brain, and it says "killed by zipline." That takes a lot of talent too, because the ziplines don't just go anywhere. Uh, they only attach to certain objects. Whoa, that's a sweet rocket launcher. Oh, what are you doing? Why are you shooting that thing? Uh, that Revolution, takes, baby. Yeah. So you, you probably, if you're on the team that's cracking, do want to take this crane down because it blocks vehicle traffic. Okay. Um, that the team that's trying to prevent you from doing that, uh, you know, they need to use those routes. This is heist mode in which it's actually lopsided goals. Mm. Uh, so it's more akin to rush as opposed to blood money mode, which is just everyone grabbing money from the vault and each other's uh, vaults. Yeah, well, yeah, what do you think about the modes, Aaron? Uh, Obviously, like you play a lot of Battlefield, do you think this, that's the sort of thing that they need to do to re-engage people or to make it interesting if they're going to try and annualize this thing? I mean, I would like to see them come up with some completely unique modes. Um, Blood Money is pretty good because it's this case of... Focus! Um, Blood, <laughs> Blood Money is a, uh, it's a case of a mode where you, you do have some new dynamics. Like everybody's raiding the center money pile, but then everybody's also going around raiding each other's money piles. Yeah. So that does feel genuinely new. Heist mode feels like a game of rush obliteration. It's not, it's not super unique, but it is still fun as long as both teams know what they're doing. Yeah, that's the one thing I've found that maybe on the PS4, 
there's much less of is that the PC folks seem to kind of be working together a little bit better. Yeah, I'm just gonna, the gonna stand here. And you think that's just sort of it. down to the sort of the player base? Yeah, I, I mean, think I, maybe. I guess I would make that generalization Whoa. about most uh, competitive shooters. I think if you own a PC that has that can run this game pretty well, then you're probably into your first person shooters a lot. Uh, I'm gonna dive into the user questions a bit. I also want to let people know that we are giving away 20 beta codes for Battlefield Hardline on the PS4 today. Woo! The GameSpot account. Ed uh, has just tweeted something, I believe, in the past couple of minutes. So if you want to win uh, one of those beta codes, all you have to do is retweet that and make sure you're following GameSpot so we can get your details and get that code over to you as well. This is North America only. Uh, apologies, that's, uh, that's not up to us. But we got 20 codes, so if you want to get in on that, retweet that bad boy. Up on them fast, too. I think the beta only has two more days. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's going to be done. Yeah, I'll get see. the code. Watch the starter guide that Aaron and I put together. Here we yes. go. Oh, whoa, run. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> it's like bike parkour. If I had done that in Battlefield 4, I would have died horribly. <laughs> uh, Final Dasa asks in the chat, do, you, do the classes represent the cops versus robbers motif, or are there uh, thief engineers and police assault? How is that stuff working? They're just renamed Battlefield 4 classes. The classes yeah. are the same uh, regardless of what faction you play as. Uh, and they all, at least in the beta, at this point, the thing that differentiates them, I mean, you have the sort of the gun ranges, right? The SMGs, the machine guns, <laughs> the assault rifles, the sniper rifles, yeah. ge like generally speaking. Uh, then you've got the bits of kit that you can get. So like the ballistic, sh you've got a riot shield. In one class, you've got the revive teammates and revive yourself in mm. another class. Uh, Aaron, you have done some messing around with the riot shield. Not, 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 not super not great. Not useful yet. It needs to stop more bullets before I'd use it. But one, one thing, so one big addition that Hardline does, which I, I think is worth mentioning, is it more or less gets rid of that kind of slog of an unlock tree that was in Battlefield. Yes. Um, so it's got the, I don't know, we're just calling it the coin op system. Um, but it's basically you pay money for the weapons instead of having to unlock them through levels. Mm -hmm. Although you still, you do still have to go through service stars in order to get the ability to buy certain attachments like barrel mods and, and scopes and things like that. But for the most part, you're kind of able to just pick and choose what you want, right? Instead of you've just unlocked this new version of this pistol you never used anyway. Yeah, so veteran Battlefield players know exactly which guns and, you know, which scopes they like, and there's no reason for them to be wasting their time unlocking the red dot sight for the hundredth time in a row. It's just not necessary. And I think they listened, and that was that was really, you know, it was really nice of them to do. I think it's something that the community wanted. Oh, yeah, you're not spending your time with some gun you don't want, kitting it out, only to unlock the basic version of another gun that you then have to kit out then, you know, yeah. to, to sort of cascade along. That's always, uh, it's nice to see that getting restructured. Uh, were you any guys talking to the chaps of Visceral? Because I know that, that there, there's been a lot of talk about it's not all just going to be maps in cities. Like, they definitely showed um, desert maps okay. in, in the trailer. Desert cops, yeah. desert bank robberies. Well, that was where you had the like real vehicle heavy, during that during the demo trailer, that was where it showed a lot of like vehicle heavy car chasing stuff, basically through like, uh, you know, Trevor in GTA meth country right, is what yeah. it seemed like, right? Uh, so if you're going to have a vehicle-based mode, you know, keep having it in an urban area is pretty tricky. Yeah, so do you think that the, these these vehicles then do have the ability to actually make interesting uh, vehicle chases? Because one of the things, Aaron, you said immediately when that first trailer was uh, released was that if they used the Battlefield 4 style vehicles, like all that ever happened was people got rocket launchers and just blew them up straight away. Like there was not much in the way of compelling chases. Yeah, I think you gotta you gotta recalibrate, right? Because the you know the majority of the the vehicles in a mainline battlefield are military spec. They're tanks. There's armored this. There's armored that. But here, you know, when you ha you, you can't you can have an armored SUV, yes, on the criminal side, but it's mostly gonna be you know cars that you can just commandeer like yep. you yeah. know you sort of have to rescale the damage modeling for vehicles and it seems like Aaron mentioned earlier that they've kind of done that a little bit at least in the beta though they are going to have to drive car chases a little bit more so again going back to heist mode it's really good when everybody knows what they're supposed to do and where they're supposed to go mm. um, but in earlier matches when people don't really know that 
uh, you know, the team that, that grabs the bomb and they know where they're headed, they just go there and nobody can really catch up to them. So they probably need to work heist a little bit better so that, I don't know whether that means just more cars or whether that means... For more um, indicators? Do you think yeah. it's a matter of confusion or just not being able to get there in a timely fashion? Or it could be, you know, it could be like in Rush where they move the spawn point of the defenders after the first set of crates are taken. Mm. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, yeah. They should definitely... Something to signal that. Yeah, they need to rebalance it a little bit just to, you know, encourage those car chases. So it looks like my team's gone up. They've gone up and they're going to try and zip line across to the escape. So we'll... You're on your own, bruh. We'll go meet them over there. Um, but the potential for the car chases is, is there. They just need to... Oh, this is not really loud. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. Slow your boys just down. Get get, I get, like it. Get back into the combat area! <laughs> so, no. Aaron, you, you play a lot of Battlefield. Uh, there's no doubt that you're going to pick this up, I'm guessing, as somebody who, who spends a lot of time with the series. Uh, for folks who are maybe Fairweather Battlefield fans who pick one up or maybe have been trying to get into it, so far from the beta, do you think that there's enough happening here to make it a, an interesting new prospect for somebody who maybe played a little bit of Battlefield 4 but was a little unsatisfied by it? I mean, if you're looking for a different experience, that's what this is. Uh, if you feel like the Battlefield franchise, the, the core Battlefield franchise has just gotten a little tired, then, you know, I, I think you could make the argument that playing it a slightly simplified, you know, differently themed Battlefield might be the thing that you want to do. Does this feel simplified to you? It does, which is a good thing. I think Battlefield 4 sort of branched out a little bit too much. You know, there were so many weapons and so many mods that it kind of got overwhelming for a lot of players. Where does that guy get shot from? This is this is one thing I like. Whenever you're carrying money, it's just streaming out <laughs> of the bag, leaving oh. this crazy money trail. Oh, make it, make it. That's this your friend. My guy. It's fine. Well, He's take fine. No, get out of my way. You can do it. You made yes. it. Huzzah. Nice work. <laughs> and Aaron wins the game. <laughs> nice work. Uh, Aaron, one last. Ooh. I feel. To your question, Danny, about like, is this different enough? Yeah. I feel like if you want something different and the criminal thing appeals to you, Payday 2. You think? Like, I, it's very different and the, the mechanics of that in terms of, you know, because you're fighting enemy AI, not, mm. your, not other players. It can feel a little bit like horde mode where you're just like fighting waves and waves of cops. But I think the strategy of pulling off a crime and that kind of tension is captured really well in Payday but 2, then, despite I'm, some some... You know, I mean, like I think rough edges. And Payday 2 coming out on, yeah. on the next-gen consoles, or the current-gen consoles, rather, in a couple of months as well. So. I mean, and Payday 2 was done by an ex-Battlefield dev, so if it feels you know, yeah. mildly familiar. I mean, the mechanics are very different. It's more like a horde mode. That game is a lot of fun, though. The, the, big, the real question that everybody's asking themselves at this point is, is this worth $60? Yeah. That's, that's the actual question. You know, if this were $40, maybe there would be no question in people's minds, mm -hmm. even if it felt like a mod or felt like DLC. So... You know, the, the visceral, it's up to Visceral to make the case that this is a $60 game. And that's hard to do when you've only shown one map in two modes. Yeah. So we'll see what they do. Do you think they'll forward. lean on the single player stuff, though? Do you think they'll say, this is the single player campaign you guys wanted, and here's the, the multiplayer stuff to the side? Like, that's what I worry, yeah. is that they'll, they'll have a pretty padded, obvious multiplayer component, and then they'll say, oh, but we gave you this five-hour campaign that no one's going to play or like I mean, we half had, the people are going to play. We had an interesting conversation in the office earlier today where, you know, somebody mentioned that the thing that used to make make a game not a mod or not DLC was a single player campaign. Yeah, yeah. But I don't feel like Battlefield people play Battlefield for a single player, you know. Mm. Maybe it's 8 hours out of your 100, 200 hours that you play. So, I think that, you know, marketing thinks that yeah. single player is the thing that attracts people. I think Battlefield players just want solid multiplayer. That's where they want the money put, and you know that's what the experience that they want. Cool, Aaron. Thank you so much for coming on. Before you go, you. I've got the first eight winners out of our twenty winners for the Battlefield Hardline PS4 beta codes. Read them out there, bro. It's the most fun, most fun oh, part good. of the show. Oh god. Yeah, right. Uh, at er one zero four one three. Great. Keep going. First one, two. At M I C F L O eighteen. You're just spelling them. You gotta read Mike them. Flo? All right. <laughs> well, how are they not gonna? All right, fine. Three at Hot Tracer 88. There you right. go. Four at Chris Scream. Five at Darkenoff. I think that was Chris Cream, but okay. Chris Cream. Keep going. Six, Darkenoff. At the Great Polio. 
<laughs> Seven at B Boy, Mr. Maestro. Great. Yeah. And love that guy. Eight at Still Chewy. Still Chewy. Chewy. Thank you for still being Chewy. <laughs> we still got 12 more codes for PlayStation 4. Oh, wait, wait. Hang on. One second. Hard I what want are you to doing? show you the donuts. Oh, get the donuts. Go back to the game. Go back to the game. Hang on. Just got to leave you with one more thing. There's an Easter egg that we were laughing at at the office the other day. Hell yeah. Delicious donuts. <laughs> donuts. Spotted. Donuts. Spotted. <laughs> Fuck that donut looks amazing. <laughs> God damn, I love donuts. Fuck that donut looks amazing. <laughs> donuts confirmed. Follow Field Hardline. <laughs> Thanks very much, Aaron Sampson. No uh, we'll be back in a sec with Ryan Mack and Jeff Gerstman uh, with UFC. Also, Chuck Morris and Bruce Lee. If none of that makes any sense, make sure you stick around. Uh, but right now, I believe a Transformers movie came out, which means the uh, Activision have uh, squeezed out some sort of software in relation to it. So let's check out the trailer for that. Piece of hot trash, probably, right? <laughs> When the universe presents you with an opportunity, you must never fail to capitalize on it. This is our darkest hour. The Autobots are on the verge of defeat. A new golden age is upon us, Optimus. The age of the Decepticon. Decepticons for getting the dark spark! Transformers, the something of something something, out now from Activision Games. Buy that if you like the movie and want to see more of the rich fiction of the Transformers universe. Is it right that I'm that apathetic about Transformers? The All games? Spark powers all Transformers, and Mark Wahlberg is there. It's going to be a fantastic time at the movies, Beefo Brady. Can you? <laughs> 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 Jeff Gerson from Giant Bomb. Good to be here. Uh, light heavyweight champion of UFC. Thank you very much for coming along, Ryan Mack. What's up? Thank you very much for coming along. How you doing? Chris, I already shook your hand. There. Hey, what's, yeah, what's up? I'm just, I'm just gonna sit over here. The Ultimate Fighting Championship finally has a video game. Another video game. Uh, I was kind of hopeful about this one. Yeah. I played some last night. Uh huh. It's kind of okay. Maybe uh, it's not as good as I was hoping. The more I played of it, the less I liked it. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's annoying. Yeah. Uh, it's made from the guys who made Fight Night Champion, which is a really, really good boxing game. Yeah, but not a very good mixed martial arts game, as it <laughs> no, turned out. True. So, you know, having those guys make this may be kind of a weird move. Especially when EA made an MMA game out of like, I think Tiburon yes. made that one. And that had some really ambitious, weird, interesting ideas. Mm. They live, remember that live commentary? Yeah, yeah. They would invite oh, yeah, people to like, that. and they would have like the devs or whoever they could get to like talk over. Of course, you knew it wasn't yeah. going to last. It wasn't Joe Rogan or M Goldberg. Yeah, it no, was no. Just, but it was one of those yeah. things where like, you know, with them not having the license, it seemed like maybe that forced them to try some things they wouldn't have tried normally. Yeah. And then you look at UFC and it's kind of verified, it bears out where you're like, oh, now they have the license. They're just like, here's a career mode that is like totally slapped together. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not mad and, on the career you mode. Know, the, the ground game's kind of weak and yeah. yeah. Let, let's hop right into it. I want to, I want to, I, I made a character yesterday. Okay. Um, it's Chuck Morris. I couldn't make Chuck Norris. Because why not? Because they wouldn't let you have the the surname. Because Bruce Buffer here has to say somebody's oh, so name. Oh, so just Norris wasn't in the list. Yeah, it wasn't. No. It wasn't like they were specifically blocking no. Chuck Norris. Okay, all right. Uh, but of he course, just spelled totally it with a zero, and it would have been fine. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, for those who don't know, the famous fight between uh, Chuck Norris. I'm not sure if we can cost to <laughs> enter the dragon. This, <laughs> this Chuck Norris does not look like Chuck Norris. Let, let's Doesn't see. Not? Can we see the real Chuck Norris? So we can see. That's as close as I got. We're hearing Enter the Dragon I music. I hear it. I mean, I guess like you know, like he's not wearing the gi. Yeah. You should just name Colt. I had a, I had white <laughs> shorts. That's as close yeah. as white, I could get. So they don't have white gi pants. No, no, they didn't. I put them on B BJJ shorts or something. Mm. 
I don't know. Yeah, it's pretty restrictive, which is a pain because the Fight Night Champion stuff allowed you to like share fighters and stuff. Right. But apparently they were really scared about copyright infringement this time around because mm -hmm. you could just straight up have Rocky and Gollum and Gandhi. Right. And sure. Harry uh, you know, I, I bet they're not necessarily scared of the copyright stuff. I bet they just didn't build it because it's right. the first game. Right. And they need something for next year or didn't have time to do it until next year because yeah. like this game just feels stripped down bare bones. The career mode, just there's not a lot to it, mm. except for like these eight second video clips of Dana White going, yeah. good fight, you did it, <laughs> good going, uh, that are just super lame. Also, if you try and share those on the PlayStation 4, it straight up just cuts those right. out. Every video is, yeah. well apparently when you stream it, it even like cuts the commentary yeah, or something. Does. Which and I the music. What? Yeah, the, the background music. Because I had Linkin Park playing for Chuck Morris, you know, obviously. Of course. American hero. Yeah. yeah. America's I know greatest how band. you love Linkin Park. Yeah. You gotta so, have the rights for that? <laughs> yeah, it just won't let you. I, that's super it's, weird. Yeah. I, the, the, my, though I do like that they animated Bruce Buffer holding the microphone under yeah. the dude's arm. <laughs> Eve like Levine. Yeah. They even got the referees in here. I miss the original dude. Like, that's when I think about UFC, I think about John, what was it, Big John? Uh, Big John, uh, well, whatever the fuck his last name was. The, McCard? McCarthy? Yeah, McCarthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he is the UFC ref of record, even yeah. if, if he has not worked for them for years. All right, so who is Chuck Morris? Uh, that'd be Jeff. Jeff no, is, I am oh, Bruce really? Lee. <laughs> oh, I, I'm, I might not be playing then. Okay. Are you playing? I thought I was playing. I mean, we can do change sides. Yeah, yeah, we, we can set this up. This Select sides right. is confirmed. So you said game. So Ryan, that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. There you go. So now you're Chuck Morris. Yeah, yes. And Jeff Ooh. is Bruce Lee. We're not yes. going to get trophies, though. It's okay. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> there goes half our viewing audience. <laughs> They're just in for the trophy. Side right. control. Look at this. I I'm just gonna do... want to get up. All Bruce, if, if, you, if it's Enter the Dragon, all you have to do is Bruce Lee is just grab a clump of Chuck Morris's yeah. chest hair. Whatever, I'm going to break his damn neck. And then, the, <laughs> and then the cat will look at you. Look at the cat. W one of the things I found playing this last night is that punches don't really feel like they're not. That's strong. Uh, you know, I feel like they're, yeah, I mean, they're, oh. that's staggering them there. Oh, oh. <laughs> Chuck Morris! You are hitting oh, how him how do I put on him? It's uh, forward yeah, and like... Yeah, it's like L2 and, and forward, button, yeah. yeah. It's like the... Ugh. Bruce Lee's trying to get it on the, on the oh, map. Oh, 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 he's out! Dead. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm just gonna Pick hang out nuts. here and kick. <laughs> what up? <laughs> that was, that was, that was the, the, that was not the main event. You needed to be like water. I needed to be like, I couldn't do it. Yeah. Chuck Morris is more like wood. Yeah. So we watch the, the, the sick uh, replay here. So this is as close as you can get to the f creating him because the, the hair, that's yeah. defining. Yeah, okay. It's really, they, there's no sliders. I, I think if you, want, if, like, if you want this fight in a video game though, you gotta go play Street Fighter Alpha, that Chun-Li stage that is basically the, <laughs> the stage enough. from <laughs> Return of the Dragon. But you, like that's that's just a much better a much better feeling representation. Speaking of good feeling representations, you had great success. Oh, I, I don't know if I would call it great success, you but don't yeah, know. sure. The great, your dude looks just Yeah, like I you. I waded through the arcane process of uploading my face to EA. Yeah. Right. Um, now they have that. Now they have that. <laughs> they had it before. I mean, you know, like Fair let's enough. be honest, they think I like hockey. Um, <laughs> And, or they used to, uh, <laughs> and uh, uploaded a front picture, a side picture, and you know, it's all on the website now, it wasn't in the game, uh, which is weird. Can you not just um, use like the Kinect or PS4 camera? You'd think that, that would be like a good way <laughs> to do it, but I don't think so. No. Like the, the crazy thing is when you go to create a fighter, it just actually just says like, do you want to use Game Face? Yeah. Without telling you yeah. what that even means. Like right Or <laughs> where to go yeah. to get it, or what, you know, so you know, it's... It's a process. I had to install a browser plugin and do all this stuff. So I ended up That's uploading fun. my face and getting it all to spit out finally. Uh, and it created nightmares. Well, yeah. let's go uh, check out those nightmares. Was it we, like a webcam? Like that you just, like I, just, I just used my your, iPhone and your, took oh, pictures okay. that way. And they just want you to upload JPEGs. I feel like in the past it's been really finicky about where the shadows are on your face and it'll like yeah. get real crazy about yeah. what a human's face dimensions it, 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 are. Yeah, it, it can be bad with that stuff. They, they draw a template on the screen to, yeah. for you to kind of drag around. Put uh, your eyeballs directly here. Uh, so that's, and then you I'm probably logged into like that, so just man. pick. Uh, Brad? Uh, it's not going to work. Okay. Yeah, you're no going to get Brad. that. So just go to new Patrick, user and no? play as guest. Uh, no, yeah. Patrick. All right, well, whatever. All right, sure. Patrick now. <laughs> gonna get, Patrick's going to get his UFC achievements now instead. Yeah. Uh, uh, we just should be sure. able to hit rematch. That'll work. Who are you playing? Who are you fighting? I think it's uh, Anderson Silva versus Jeff Kirschman. Oh, great. <laughs> yeah. All you have to do is make sure you check all of his kicks and he'll just break his own leg. <laughs> yeah. It's done. Here's the spider. He's pretty happy. So I guess the hardest thing when you're, ever, when you're creating a character is choosing what entrance music. Uh, yeah, and I feel like all the options are poor. Uh, it's DMX, but it's a really shitty DMX yeah, song. Yeah, it's not the DMX song you want. No. You know, they've got that Imagine Dragons song in there if you want like a really weak fighter to just, like, come out to this dumbass song. Um, you know, they got some... 
some work to do on the soundtrack side, let's say. It, this kind of feels like the we are going to get it right second time around. Totally. This is Which annual. For the amount of time that this game has been shown and not playable and all this other stuff, like the, the, they've been working on it, I'm kind of surprised that it is as bare bones as they, it Whatever, they up. shoot all those videos and stuff. They just, they That's take right. All that, <laughs> yeah, no. And the, it looks the eight really seconds good. with Dana White yeah. going like, great job, kid, you you sea fighter. Remember when I said I wouldn't work with EA? Well, here we are. <laughs> You're the new Hoist Gracie. Uh, it looks like presentation-wise, it's it's pretty smashing. Yeah, there it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, totally. I think that's, there's some animation issues that you know, they run into, you know, just certain kicks clashing and stuff like that. But for me, it's you know, like the animation go. looks good. It's a good-looking game, but like the jabs don't snap out the way you want them to. Like the the input doesn't. It, it's it's not very responsive. Yeah. And and that's uh that's one of my main problems with the gameplay. Uh, for all the problems I have with, you know, the, kind of the ground game and some of the other stuff that they've done, like, mm. like that's the thing at the core. It just doesn't feel responsive enough. Well, that's the problem that they ran into the first time, because, right, remember, it was, it's, it's always the animation versus sure. responsiveness. Yeah, so yeah. They, do, they do that swimming thing, it's mm -hmm. like where you kind of swim through what you're doing to match up with what's happening. Right. So it's like, yeah, I get yeah. you. But, you know, it's like, I, I feel like, you know, the, the EA MMA game was, was pretty awesome. Uh, well, it was, it was pretty all right. They did their own thing that was different from THQ's UFC game. But I think, yeah. I, you know, like playing this, I would rather just play THQ's game. Like by the time they got into their third game. What does Bruce Buffer call you when you when you come in? Uh, Black Mamba. Great. But, uh, but this PS4 is not set to stereo output, so we're not going to hear some of the channels. Oh, great. Which will make one. it even weirder. You're looking pretty cut. Yeah, you know, I, I, this is what I would look like at 205. It's pretty... It's kind of terrifying. If I could cut weight down to 205, you know, not eat for a while. Uh, I didn't make a light heavyweight because I thought I could fight at 205. <laughs> uh, it was more that I think that's the division where the action is. Yeah, so totally. th that's usually the, you know, that's. It's, it's kind of annoying that you can't fight outside your weight. Like, you can't, yeah, like, drop just, into. Just, yeah, just like, like, just fudge it. Like, make it work. Like, even in Champion, they let you go, I believe, one above and one under. Yeah. Like, if you wanted to. Well, so th in, in online, they kind of combine uh, middleweight and light heavyweight. Okay. Uh, and and in a, some of the other divisions, they do combine some of the weight classes. So uh, that does happen here and there. Uh, and if you want to buy Bruce Lee, well, I think if you complete the game or career mode, the hardest setting or something, oh, really? you unlock Bruce Lee. Okay, and it's uh, like seven bucks, I think, to buy in all the weight classes. And otherwise, but not even all of them because it's like three of them. Like he doesn't, right. he does not. A, there's no heavyweight Bruce Lee. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, like there's four different like versions. Phantom though, and they're two bucks each. Yeah, it, yeah. It's, that stuff ends up. I think that stuff's lame because you end up in the character select screen in online matches and stuff, and you'll see two versions of the same guy back to back. Right. Yeah. Like the character select screen is already just this tedious thing in this game. That should have been streamlined and, and to loading in general. Who's is your spot? Fun. Tokyo yeah, Tires yeah. is your. I just randomly chose some sponsors. I don't even remember. I had Alienware and everything. That's smart. <laughs> Straight up yeah. Alienware. No, yeah. I know. You're you can put an Alienware big. logo right on your junk as well. I put the Tops logo because <laughs> I figured they would send me free baseball cards. That brand is hot. <laughs> and I have All right, let's do this, boys. Who's who? Anderson the Spider. I hope, you I hope you're Jeff Gerstmann because <laughs> yeah. otherwise he's going to get super. Uh, Ryan Are is. you? Oh, wait, no. All right, swap, swap sides. Swap do, you sides. Want, do you want to swap sides? Swap. Okay, okay, right. do, do it. All right. Switch anyways. Nah, whatever. Switch sides, you know what I'm saying? I don't think I'm... Oh, you don't think you're in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're not? All right. Okay. Is that right? Yes. I'm yeah, Anderson that's right. All right. All right, so fighting as Jeff Gerstmann is Jeff Gerstmann and fighting as Anderson the Spider Silva, Ryan McDonald. <laughs> the match you've been waiting to go. see. For a shot at Weidman's title. Well... Jeff yeah. getting in his introductory hugs. Yeah. <laughs> Just wave. hold you. <laughs> Mac going straight for the flying knee. As is want of Silva. Oh, Jesus! So Jeff, you were saying we're not getting all the audio channels necessarily. Is like Impact one of those audio channels? <laughs> Uh, it could be. I don't know. Uh, the, the PS4 hits are is a like... weird mythical machine, and there are <laughs> weird menus you have to lie to if you want to get two-channel audio out of it uh, for you know capturing on a video game website or something like that. There's. Uh, have you seen any low blow stuff happen in this yet? Mm, I don't think no. any of that's in there. I've or seen holding them, onto I've, the cage. Uh, no, I've seen the refs like stand people up. Okay. In, in some cases, where it's you know it's like the Just the action's kind of stopped. Can you get in there and give them the old Suarez? <laughs> just a little, little shoulder bite. Just a little bit of yeah, a little bit, a little bit of gum on shoulder. Look at that. D no. ah, ah. Oh, well. There you go. Here now we're making babies. Some of the welts and like swelling and bleeding and stuff is really well done. Like you can really see like thighs getting getting nice and pink. 
from a lot of work getting done to them. The way you like it. Yeah. 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 Getting nice I like it. Like yeah. it's <laughs> a lot of bruised up. <laughs> I, I, I get it. Of wine. Oh! oh my! So almost the spider's down. <laughs> Gave him his chin. He got on pretty quickly. That's the problem with Silver now. He's been knocked out once. That, that's what happened easier. to me. I was 14 and 3 when I was playing. Got knocked out. Dana White says, all right, kid, you can be back. <laughs> and then they drop the next two fights, and then they just stop. Oh, really? The they stopped much, calling yeah. you. They stopped calling <laughs> The phone stopped ringing, and I didn't know what happened, man. <laughs> Training camp was empty. <laughs> Everyone said there was some new guy on the scene. <laughs> uh, they have caught uh, I Irish. always said, it's my big fist, and I'm ready to fight. <laughs> and they just weren't listening. That was definitely a low blow. Uh, they have Irish uh, MMA practitioner uh, Conor McGregor in here. But right after they scanned him, he got this massive front tattoo on his chest. Oh, great. Which is just not in the game. Either. Probably all the better for EA trying to work out that legal stuff. <laughs> I, did, I did see some fun. Oh, yeah, he had Mario's today. face tattooed on his oh, chest. Sure, so yeah. we... Well, they're getting into a lot of heat it's with the Madden Sports tattoos. Logo. Really? <laughs> yeah, like getting the rights from individual artists who made the tattoos. Oh, and stuff oh sure. Like that. Really? Yeah. And yeah. you end up with some cases where people get, you know, licensed things tattooed. Like CM Punk has a Pepsi logo yes. tattooed on himself that oh. was always real hard. So. Oh, oh, Anderson Silva! Don't let it be! <laughs> 25 seconds. Can he survive? Uh, I take questions from the chat, but unfortunately my laptop has died, so... Oh! oh so, and so is Anderson no. Silva! <laughs> Anderson Silva. So yeah, at no point was there any sort of like head size slider after I... Like once you import yeah. your game face, it's like, alright, you're good. You can't really change the hair or anything in game. Oh really? Uh, like all that stuff I think happens on the you website. You can't do the tweaking? Uh, no, no. There were there was limited tweaks that I could make and most of them were to the body. I was gonna um, say this is a pretty diminutive head as a representation of you. Yeah, no, I, I know. I, I want like to get it, get it looking much bigger. But, <laughs> get the headbutts. Uh, oh, gosh. I want, I want Mark Turmel style all the time. <laughs> well, you just want to even make just dumb characters. Like, I tried to make a really dumb character yesterday, yeah. and sure, he had blue dreadlocks and a red beard that was this yeah. size, but like that's as far as I could go. It seems like the if you the the key to making really dumb characters in this game would be to like go to the website and upload like a picture of a basketball and say that's your face <laughs> uh, and see what happens. That's good. Um, or just or, take a know, screenshot of your Ukes WWE character. Right. And so yeah, that was the idea. Is like what happens if we took a picture of this character and then up, re-uploaded it over and over again? Yeah, like, eat what it would through it the machine. Yeah, again. what would what would eventually become? Um, yeah. Well, that's that's EA Sports UFC yeah. out now, folks. Uh, before you guys go, I want to ask you uh, a little bit of questions about this Steam sale that's happening. Mm -hmm. um, I'm buying a load this year because I didn't actually buy that many in previous years. Yeah. Uh, whenever it was on, my PC was always in a limbo or I was moving or something. Uh, have you picked, Chris, have you picked up much this time around? Uh, no, Danny, I not have not. Although I did see Brothers on sale for like three bucks or right. something like that, and that's one of my favorite games of last year, so I'll plug that. Sweet. Sure. Uh, all right, we've got to look at what's on now. What we got? Splinter Cell Blacklist. Ghosts, 60% off, and, and, uh, and, and notably murdered soul suspect, like Whoa. cut by about 33%. The game and came out like two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, it came out the week before uh, E3, right? Yes, yeah. it did. Yeah, it did. Yeah, so that, that's a that's a decent price for that game. That game is, has some interesting ideas that I would not recommend as a full price product. Right. But, you know, you, you cut it down enough, it's like, ah, you know, you, you, you could do worse. And six seventy nine for Fallout? Sure. Yeah, it's been, out of, it's been out a while. The Metro sure. pack is pretty good. Uh, well, yeah. All the expansions are in that as well, I think. Yeah, but then there's that new Metro pack, like the, the remasters are coming out like oh, not really? that far off. Yeah, so right. This is like their last ditch, like, hey, come on, man, buy Metro! And Nidhogg for, what is that? Five? Six bu five oh nine. Pay nine, any nine price bucks. for Nidhogg, as far as I'm concerned, as long yeah. as you got people around. That's... Darksiders 2, that's been, that's been a while. Yeah. Uh, can you click on the blue team thing? This is the most, like, just rigged thing I've ever seen what in my life. What even is this? Like, is somebody just miles ahead again? Come on, Team Pink. Yeah, it's... Reddit is gaming it to have oh, every team win to twice, uh, twice over the course. Is that of the what's day. happening? Yeah, yeah. Wow. It's, okay, it's, that's pretty good. It's all being yes. Uh, back out of that then. It's all fixed. Yeah. It's like life. Let's go. <laughs> let, all right. Let's vote on the next community choice then. Yeah. Eric Tay's account. What we want? Uh, 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 samurai gun. That wasn't one of them. Does he get to vote for? Oh, you have to pick from these. Yeah, you have to pick from these, from these. Ah. Ah. I would go. Uh, <laughs> I would go fun, great soundtrack over casual comedy. Agreed. That, that's what I would pick. Yeah. Give our boy Kasavin a bit of a bump there as well. Yeah, yeah clearly, they, clearly they need it. No one, no one's heard of this bastard <laughs> yeah, game. Yeah. That transistor thing died on its feet, I'm sure. What is that? <laughs> All right, Steam sales. <laughs> Go waste your money now. Well, don't stick around. We still got a, we still got a show to put on here. In fact, 
I believe uh, Mary Kish is here with, there's not just Steam sales, there's also actual boxed retail releases coming out this week and Mary Kish is on, uh, on our green set uh, to tell us all about them. Mary, what's going on? No, Mary's not there uh, apparently. Don't worry, there's no such thing as retail box games anymore. Really? Aha, yeah. that was all a ruse. Yeah, we're done. Digital only. <laughs> yeah. I still can't pay $60 for a digital game. It feels very strange. Mm. Not even when they pack in some extra suits for you or something. What if you, Bruce pre Lee? What if you could preload it? Uh, and then it feels extra new. So, so, so I will say this, say what you will about the game, but I will say my most successful digital pre-order thing ever was Watch Dogs. Mm. So I did. I could have went at midnight to Best Buy, yeah. but instead I said, you know what, I'm okay with Watch yeah. Dogs if it takes a little time for it to get here. But seriously, 12 o'clock came and it was like I hit the button and it was like... Yeah, but then 12.01 came and you were playing Watch Dogs. Well, uh, then 12.12 mm. then came and I caught up to where it downloaded to and this big fat thing came on the screen and was like, oh, sorry. You need to sit here for the yeah. next seven hours. Yeah, yeah. so like, pretty much. <laughs> It's a good thing we got you on that first 12 minutes. Yeah, UFC <laughs> lets you go through the tutorial. Uh, it downloads two gigs, and it's like, you can totally play. I'm like, oh, fantastic. Get in there, walk through the tutorial, which I had already played, uh, and get in like that first fight. And then it's like, do you want to play that again? And then you do career <laughs> mode, and it's just the tutorial again. Right. They're just like kick, punch, kick, yeah. punch. All right. I Sorry. got a quick question, actually. Go for it. Uh, speaking on the subject of like betas and stuff that came out during E3, we were talking about Hardline earlier. Mm -hmm. Destiny Alpha was also out oh, there yeah. for a little while. Did any of you guys get to play around with that? I ended up playing it before the show. We ended up getting a hold of it uh, before the show. So, mm -hmm. But by the time I got back in range of a PlayStation 4, it was already closed. It had, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. But I, I really liked what I saw of it. Yeah. I was, you know, that was beta of the show. Between that and Hardline. <laughs> Uh, Destiny or tough you know, Alpha slash Beta of the show. Uh, Destiny is the, definitely the, the. Did you? Because it sort of gave you a few levels. You know, the, you could mo level up to like eight yeah. or something it, like it that. It didn't take very long to get through. Yeah. 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 Uh, but then they also had the competi a competitive multiplayer mode there, which oh, really? I only dabbled in a little bit, and we had on the stage show. But it was it was basically like a, a domination mm. game type. That was the one part the of the point. game I didn't see because there was no one playing it when I was playing it. So. Are they going to oh, do that beta again? Do you think uh, they're probably well, it pushing goes, it goes into beta next month. So that oh, was, sorry, an was an alpha pre order. Yeah. So this yeah. was the alpha. Alphas, betas, digital games. It's time Greek we talked about some retail box games. Mary Kish, what's going on? Oh, hey guys. Hey, it's what's me, up? Mary oh, Kish. You're not Mary at all. Oh, good. No, this I'm is not. A, this is a ruse. <laughs> oh, did I get you? Handler, you did it again. Oh, oh that is good. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at here. Human being. Mary Kish is on vacation. Sorry, everyone, but I'll take over for here. Now, look at this. What do you have there? What do you even point at? What do you guys think? I don't know. Here's the week. Not That's so good, car? but uh, Tuesday on, it's looking pretty hot. Is it? What's I a, think so. What's, what's on Tuesday? Well, let's take a look. <laughs> on what's on Tuesday, we got, well, right. actually, that's later. But right now, it's Sniper Elite. That's going to be on Friday, guys. Yeah, that's not Tuesday, Mary. No, Mary's blowing it, isn't she? But no, it lo it's looking real good. You got to, uh, you know, adjust your speed and hold your breath as you take these shots. But most importantly, you get my favorite, Crack Chat. Here oh, it comes. Oh, no, not the... Is it going oh! for the... Oh! Those do not grow back, guys. Never had they been more lovingly rendered. Oh, that's fun. And that's going to come out again Friday, June 27th. Look at this guy. He's going to get moited. Mm. That sucks. He'll be okay. I got to... Oh. Playing that next, game, that stuff gets gruesome. <laughs> this one is on the 24th. It's Transformers, Rise of the Dark Spark. Can't wait. Oh, it's good. For campaign mode, you can play either as the Autobots or the Decepticons, where you get to either <laughs> save or destroy the Earth. Do to, you? To yeah. quote Carolyn Pettit, if you can transform, it's not going to be the worst Transformers game ever. Exactly. <laughs> this one uh, takes on the more different approach of war. It's World War One. <laughs> That was a good time for everybody. I feel like Transformers is the more different of those two types of war, but okay. <laughs> Very much so, but this one brings in a love story about survival, sacrifice, and friendship, guys. Wow, this that's one, the trifecta right there. It is. If I think franchise, I think World War I. Okay. This is a Shovel Knight, <laughs> where you use a shovel to, oh, we just went right past that, but you use it to uh, dig up stuff, and uh, it's sharpened, so you can kill people as well. Up next is uh, Auto Sport, Grid Auto Sport, the what? 27th. And that's going to be for Wednesday. <laughs> Would you put these in order next time, Mary? <laughs> I could, but uh, it's not as fun. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'll be here next time. Probably not. What's your, <laughs> what's your favorite game coming out this week, Rob? Oh, probably some Sniper Elite. Yeah? Some uh, crat chats. You like Those it? look insanely You like awesome. shooting uh, Nazi dudes in the balls? I do. Yeah. I do. 
what are you doing the weekend? Rob Handler, i got to say, uh, that Grand Theft Auto video you put up uh, last week was something special. Uh, we're going to run it at the end of the show as well. Uh, oh, congratulations no on making content that is better in video form than what Rockstar are doing in video game <laughs> form. <laughs> You're too kind, Danny. Thank nice you so work. much. All right, Rob. Pleasure. Take off the... Sh yeah, he's gone. So, oh. <laughs> can, oh, can you come back in? That was great. Oh, he's back. Hey, Rob, on your head. <laughs> on your head, Rob. Here we go. Duck, duck, duck. Here, go on. Do, uh, you can do it. Keep it up. Oh, no, I'm done. <laughs> Keep <Great>. it up. <laughs> Bend it like Beckham. Come stop, here. Stop Hug that. me. Hug me. Oh, Hug me. Hug me. Oh, no. Hug me. Hug me. Yep, yeah. yeah, there we go. Oh, look at that. No, nope, Danny makes it weird. He's always got to... Take, give me a tongue bath. It's uh, actually a feline form of affection. <laughs> weird. Thanks, Rob. Oh my god. That was weird. It was pretty weird. Uh, we're going to play some FIFA 14 in a second. Germany versus the United States of America. But first, uh, next big game I was on this week. Uh, uh, tell the folks at home what that's all about. I don't uh, so, like, next big game, right, is this feature where GameSpot just kind of like highlights a, a game that's super awesome mm. and uh, the people who make it sort of uh, like the website equivalent of a, a magazine cover story where you get to like delve into the game and like really sort of take a look at what makes it tick uh, which is really fun extra fun when it's Evolve and you get to go play Evolve so <laughs> there are four videos going up this week and written pieces alongside them oh, 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 ten, four? Five. there are five days in the week five five there, every day there are actual week. seven days in the week but okay damn it you get technicality uh, so yeah, so there are five classes you can play in Evolve, the four <coughs> Hunters and the Monster. Yes. So uh, we've posted Medic and Assault. Assault went up today, and then we've got Trapper and Support tomorrow, Thursday, and then Friday, the Monster. So yeah, Peter Brown did some interviews with the developers at Turtle Rock about the uh, different character classes. I sort of delved down onto the one specific character and talked about their strategies yeah. in the videos. And I uh, put together a little video feature here for you guys to like get a taste for what it's all about. Excellent, so all that's on GameSpot.com. But yeah, first of all, here's a little sneak peek at the next big game, Evolve. This week, Evolve joins Titanfall and Civilization Beyond Earth on the list of elite games to be featured in GameSpot's The Next Big Game series. And what, pray tell, does that mean? The Next Big Game not only focuses on games that will have a big impact on the industry, it also highlights the developers that bring these experiences to life. So, all this week on GameSpot, you'll find interviews with the team at Turtle Rock Studios and video features that give you a glimpse of what it's like to play each class of Hunter, not to mention the monster. If you don't know why Evolve is our next big game, then you haven't been paying attention. It's a four-on-one multiplayer battle as four players try to combine their class-specific abilities to take down the fifth player, who is a giant frickin' monster. Godzilla is a lot scarier when you know there's a human intelligence behind it, and wreaking havoc as an eldritch god is so much more satisfying when you know you're terrorizing your friends. This is the kind of game in which no match plays out the same way, and every match is a story. So take some time this week to check out our next big game coverage of Evolve, and see what we're all excited about. World Cup 2014 is in effect. It's happening. Oh, it's so... Well, I, don't, I don't watch soccer until the World Cup comes around, and then I watch a lot. <laughs> well, you've got a good dose of soccer this time around. Yeah. Or football, UK and Ireland, Europe. What's up? Other uh, places in the world except for America. Sure. We used to call it <laughs> soccer in Ireland. I don't know why people are... It used to be okay in England until like the 80s as well. People got oversensitive about really? it. It was, it was basically when American football started getting broadcast in the UK oh, that people started yeah. to get funny about football soccer things. Like, so, no, 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 this is our football. It was funny. Ireland sure. has Gaelic football, so we're used to having two sports anyway. We call it soccer. Anyway, regardless, USA are playing Germany in a big old game uh, thanks to uh, Bradley's little mess up, uh, some bad defending, and Cristiano Ronaldo realizing that he was Cristiano Ronaldo in the last game. Like, hey, maybe I should show up uh, 95 <laughs> minutes, 94 minutes late to the game. Yeah. But uh, I'm here, guys. What's up? I was spoiling the US and automatically advancing, so Thursday morning it's all on the line against yeah. Germany. 
Yikes. So what better way to figure out who's going to win that game than by having Eric Taylor and Marco Martinez step into the shoes of USA and Germany. Uh, you guys should probably swap sides. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Eric, are you playing as Germany? I'm playing as the United States. He's playing as America. It's fine. We, 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 we'll yeah. work it out. Just get on to the next screen. Just hit, right. just... Oh, he's got his Captain America. He's got Captain America on. Marco, uh, you're gonna... a traitor to, to your Mexican <laughs> side that you favor. Yeah, for the sake of this, we're just going to say he's supporting Mexico only, but I know he's got, uh, he's got split allegiances. Uh, boys, we're going to talk to you at halftime, uh, but for the moment, I want the two of you to concentrate on your game. Uh, and uh, myself and Chris are going to do our best uh, Univision slash ESPN commentary uh, over this. So best of luck. And also, right. if you have any comments in the chat, uh, I got my laptop back. Uh, please send them over as well. Great to see Josie out there with his bionic leg they recently put in <laughs> using uh, Brazilian monkey femurs. It's oh, got early chance here for Closa trying to become the uh, leading scorer in World Cup history. Exactly. Wow. You, you really know your, uh, your, your knowledge. I've used my two facts up, and it's all downhill from here. Josie Alta is Bradley, who uh, had a bad game against Ghana in the first game and uh, had a, a good first half against the Portuguese, but uh, proved to... Uh, it was a little bit clumsy Ozil. at the end of that game. Oizel. Oizel. Muirslap ah, Oizel. Off the end, and it's going to be... As Tottenham fans this say, heat. his eyes are offside. His eyes are offside. <laughs> Miroslav Ozil, his eyes are offside. I don't... That's, also, that's not his first name. I don't even understand what that means. He's got big eyes. Oh. Okay. Bradley, Bradley, over the top. Servicio! Al Dempsey! E Oof. Safe way. Clear it out. Johnson. Jones. Johnson working it outside the old box situation and it's a sloppy pass. Muller's gonna take that one. We got a uh, Germany on the counter-attack here. Oh, closer! Closer fighting for it. He's, he's gonna beat the Gonzalez. Closer than close. <laughs> Is that Gonzalez? Yeah. That's, that's not a very German name. That's, no, that's a different oh, he's a United States. Oh, okay, okay. He's a stater. Johnson at the wing to Bradley. Oh, looking for that across the middle ball and it's just right there for Kobe Jones to and Alexi Lalas to sweep up. <laughs> I'd never heard of Alexi Lalas until I moved here. Oh really? Yeah. Also Steve McManaman is a pundit on ESPN. How the fuck did that happen? I don't even it's, know. Is that uh, is that he's he related to Eric Winalda? Sure. He's, oh he's gonna throw a Schweinsteiger! Oh, that so, big save by Timmy Howard. Bastian Schweinsteiger messes up. How can you not say Schweinsteiger like three times? It's so fun. Einsteiger. Schmelzer. Kevin Prince. That's not Kevin Prince Boateng. That's his brother. The one who didn't decide to play for Ghana. Bobby Boateng. <laughs> Close wow, again. into traffic. And, All right, boys. Uh, this is a... Uh, <laughs> look at the look. already door. talking to each other. Getting a little bit nervy here. Eric Taylor's leaning in. Look at this. He's worried. Ooh. Dead ball situation. Tim the Beard Howard has it covered, though. Tim the Beard. He's just like Jersey Beard face. <laughs> That's it. Apparently he's also got Tourette's. Uh, I did hear it. I did read yeah. that. Yeah. There you go. Energetic fella. Which helps when you're screaming at defenders all day, actually. It's probably pretty good. Oh, there was a handball surely on that one. But yeah, ball's that. forward. I was. Just got advantage. Not going to call it. Uh, Diddling around in the box is that guy. Music dude 123 and Twitch asks, do they have feigning injuries in this game? Uh, Fainting injuries? They don't. Feigning injuries. Oh, feigning injuries. Yeah. Unfortunately, they don't. They, they, I don't think they've ever had that in a game. They had intentional foul in, I think it was FIFA 98. Um, but uh, I don't think they've ever had dive. Feigning injuries, I feel like you'd need, you're getting into this like mutant league, t mutant league yeah. football territory of like bribe <laughs> ref. Like how do you, it's like, like then a dice roll to see if it works. Like you have to build in some kind of chance system that's going to work. I wonder if Red work. Card had it. Red Card was a game where you basically got points for getting people sent off. As well. Oh, here we go. Oh, Josie, goodness, Josie. Josie. <laughs> this is what happens when you've got two okay. number one commentators. Yeah. I'll be the color guy. You'll be the color guy? I'll be the color commentator. You'll, right. be the, you'll be the you'll be the main guy. Pressuring the US. Easy to move it around to the back. Pressing up the middle now. And uh, they're looking for a through ball to I'm Dempsey. Gonna, Dempsey. I'm, I'm going to be the color commentator who also comes in with questions from the chat. Yeah, that works. Uh, also, I want to let the people know at home that uh, this is not the World Cup video game. This is the uh, free... Also moving in with that big hand. <laughs> You're really good at this. <laughs> uh, this is the um, free upgrade pack for uh, the next gen or current gen version. So this is for this is the PS4 we're playing on. Uh, so this and the Xbox One version. There's a free download pack, and they have this friendly mode, and there's also daily challenges based off what happens in the uh, in ah. the game. Is this the 
Haha, ha, suckers who bought the World Cup game <laughs> mode were giving you that stuff basically for free I for FIFA? Is that what I'm hearing? There's definitely like not as many modes in this as there will be in the full release. This is their, we're sorry we didn't get around to making a next-gen World Cup game. Oh, okay. Oh, so surely offsides there. Josie Altador taking through. shots from outside the box like some sort of desperate bitch. Come on, Eric Taylor, <laughs> you're better than this. <laughs> Wait, who's, which one's Eric Taylor's the United Eric States? Eric Taylor's the United States. Pride yeah, of America, maybe. over the top. Shipping it up Clint for Dempsey. 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 Oh. <laughs> he shoots with his left, he shoots with his right. Oh, I did Full it again. Clint Dempsey <laughs> makes Drogba look shy. No. Or maybe... You've got all the chance down there. Yeah, he I doesn't play for Fulham anymore, though, game. so I, don't, I can't really use that anymore. It's been a lot of possession by the U.S. and a lot of pressure up front after a few quick counter-strikes from the uh, German side. No finesse. The U.S. has been knocking on the <laughs> yeah, door <laughs> here late in this first half. Question from Shinedo. Who's going to win the World Cup? Will two teams be in the final? Sorry, he said which two teams will, two will teams be in the final. <laughs> Pretty sure two teams will be in the final. I'm going to go ahead and say yes. Uh, who do you think, Chris? Ooh, Altidore. Mm, who, who do I th think, yeah. based on first round play? Yeah. I... I don't know, Netherlands, Brazil? That, that is, that... Does that seem pretty strong, pretty, like, some pretty strong teams? I think that can't happen. It I might think, not be able to happen, I yeah. think they will meet in the quarterfinals if they meet, meet anywhere. before that. Yeah, I don't have the full bracket in mind, mm. but, uh, I don't know, Germany had some pretty All strong right. games as well. <laughs> yeah, and a, a scoreless funny. first half here. Yeah, you're a little Yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's <laughs> talk to both managers for a second. Uh, can we talk, Eric Taylor? Are we on? Marco Martinez, I yeah. think you guys are on. Uh, let's have a quick chat. What's it feel like to be on a live stream for a soccer video game and be in a scoreless draw at half time? My, Feels. Go ahead, it's a, it's a dream come true. It's a dream come true. <laughs> it's amazing, I'm gonna win, that's it. You're gonna, you're gonna break American hearts? Yeah. For no reason for other no than reason. internet fame? Yeah. That's the kind of taciturn okay. attitude that's given Martinez great success as the German di technical director. <laughs> Taylor, how did you get Altidore back on the pitch considering he <laughs> pulled a hamstring two weeks ago? Uh, same reason. Steroids. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to include Landon Donovan, but but we we went against that just yeah. because he's doing a great job in those commercials. So fair enough. Yeah. All right, back to the game, boys. Let's back to the second half. What are the keys here, Danny, for uh, Germany if they want to punch it in and avoid utter embarrassment on the international scene Why by drawing or losing to the U.S.? <laughs> I think yeah, what uh, Germany have to do here. Of course, uh, Germany if they draw this game. I think our... Oh no, both... If the, if the, a draw will put both these teams through. Indeed, there we was talk of collusion by many as uh, Jürgen Klinsmann and the technical director of the German side Are the go same way person. back <laughs> and may or may not be related by blood. I guess we'll see if, uh, if somebody scores uh, late into the second half, then uh, all gloves are off. What would definitely help is if both teams went into ultra attack right now Ultra attack. Oh, here he is. Johnson both. pressing it down the side, waiting for his team to catch up, trying to get a better advantageous <laughs> shot in the oh, middle. Okay. And no. Yeah, oh, amazingly, both America and Germany have opted to go for ultra attack. Wow. It's as if both are ses sensing the desperations in their squad and <laughs> utterly unaware of the realities of World Cup qualification. <laughs> uh, does this game support EA game face? Oh, Altidore. Oh. He's got Dempsey, or Bradley in the middle. Oh, Beast. <laughs> Thanks for getting me a trophy, bro. <laughs> Appreciate it. That's what we're in it for, folks. Uh, I'm not sure. I think it, the old versions had game Suck face. Suck it, up for Beasley. Beasley. Are you it's doing your way. Univision commentary? See, si, Danny. Do your, I don't know any Spanish. You do it. <laughs> uh, bueno, los Estados Unidos. <laughs> uh, oh. Y el defenso alemánico. <laughs> Aleman. But he said no. Oh, poor ball. Wrong, wrong option there, my friend. This is squeaky bum time. 60 minutes to go. You know what's minutes? really going to help these teams here, Danny, is uh, taking that ball, bringing it down the field, and just getting it by the keeper for a goal is what they are really trying to strive to do here. <laughs> I think, you know, for the German team right now, this key in this end of the field. Yeah prevent that ball from going into the goal <laughs> past the keeper. Killscreen asks, what is the point of the map at the bottom of the screen? <laughs> uh, it's like your radar. It's good for like doing like really ridiculous like long balls. Oh, oh God, Mirsa! Close out in front of the entire German squad. Let's see if he can finish. Uh, Legend of the Boston is going to be a goal! What is that? 
<risa> ¡De Alemania! <risa> Mirosav close to there, achieving the highest goal score in the World Cup Finals didn't he record. Did he get the assist? I, I thought close was on the assist there. Maybe it was just, I don't know, I wasn't watching. I'm the I'm the Cockney I'm the Cockney uh, uh, color commentator who's actually a bit wasted, so I don't really know what's going on. I'm Vinny Jones. It's Vinny Jones here. Vinny <laughs> Jones would be really good at. Well, what these Americans need to do is fucking hit those Germans, right? You've got to hit them real hard. Oh, Ooh. penalty! Peligroso. <laughs> That's a penalty. I don't know who's the referee. They've obviously paid them off. Those stinking Germans. Lucky. Oh, he's, off, he's, oh, off, he's yeah. offsides. He's offsides, Ozil. Oh. Way offsides. Terrible touch by the defender, Gonzalez, but manages to get on top of it. Closa <laughs> trying to claim that throne uh, that he's currently sharing with Ooh. Ronaldo from Brazil. <laughs> Is it going to be an outside shot? Terrible percentage here. He's taking it to the baseline, trying to cross the back in front. Nope. Rob, mm. Robbled. You can, you can see the, uh, the despair in uh, the manager there, Eric Taylor's face. You can't believe this is happening. These Americans need to pull the fucking finger out, right? You need to just get it done. This is war. This is war, but it's actually for the football. Wee! <laughs> I don't know Spanish, but I've heard them say wee a bunch <laughs> no, on the yeah, that's, that's, I don't know. Tiro de esquina por Alemania. Oh. Safe way. Great bit of uh, clearance there, but Tim Howard, Chelsea Atlador's got to use his bionic leg there, get the ball up the pitch. Oh, hello. Oh, my goodness. Terrible defense for Los Alemanos. Sigue, sigue, sigue. Johnson. Oh. Ooh. He didn't Ooh, have the Dempsey. legs. Se fue desviado. Pero Jones. Oh. JJJ. It's quicky bum oh, time, man. Uh, seven minutes left in the game. Oh, too close again. Sebastian Neuer there, no problem for him. He can catch American balls all day long. Oh, desperation. You see it. It's just knocking on the door so hard, but no one's answering. Here we go, Josie. Can he get the ball in front? And it's oh, oh, he missed, oh, oh, he missed it! Ooh, se fue desviado! Oh, oh my God. God. That's worse than Bradley's against Portugal. What were you doing, Taylor? A draw would have put both these teams through. Vinnie Jones would have scored that. Josie, 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 sigue Josie! No. Put it in. Here we go! Oh. Incredible amount of chances for the American side there, and they just couldn't put it in. <laughs> One wonders if this is the time when we really see. One minute injury time. How far oh, America's no. come on the international scene. How far they still have yet to go. Oh. Desperate long ball. What is this ball? And that'll do it. And Ozil's broken himself. Oh, he's going to miss the finals. What's happened to him? What's the injury? Dislocated shoulder. Ouch. Ouch. Ooh. Yeah, let's sub in, in uh, stoppage time. Well, at least he's still got a legs to stand on. <laughs> it, it, it automatically does that. Oh, really? Yeah, when you get hurt. Oh, what? <laughs> and then it does that little thing. There we go. That's it. America That's is it. out. Here oh. it is. My oh. God. Marco Martinez, as an American, <laughs> how does it feel like to put out <laughs> beast medals? How does it feel, hashtag beast medals, to put out... <laughs> Put out America. Oh, it was amazing. Uh, I knew my team was going to do that from the beginning. <laughs> I was asked to put my hand behind my back, maybe to give him a handicap, but I didn't. I played 100%. I won. Won nothing. Let's see the stats real quick. Er oh, Eric Taylor wants to have a look at the stats. Is this your shot stats? Oh, it's closer than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Seven shots, seven on target. Mmm, that's pretty good. It's consistent. That pretty is, uh, pretty that's German efficiency right there. Great accuracy rate, absolutely. 100% uh, yeah. shot accuracy. Yeah. Good game. Eric Taylor. Oh! oh. oh. That's snubbing. You just missed the... Oh. Oh. <laughs> the sports blogs are going to be all t a Twitter about that. Yeah. Marco Martinez. On Twitter. Uh, uh, Eric Taylor, thank you very much. Uh, thanks also for not biting each other. Uh, oh, yeah, no bite. Oh, every, oh, they almost went to kiss each other there. Yeah. Oh. Oh. The bite kiss. It's a complicated expression of emotion. I don't know about you, but I'm spending nine o'clock on Thursday morning in Kate O'Brien's to watch the watch the game. Really? 
You should come along. I will go to there. We're gonna go. We're gonna go. Not yes. go to our meetings and watch, watch sports and drink beer in the morning. It's the American World way. Cup. And thanks everyone for watching the lobby today, and not the <laughs> was it Greece and. Uh, it was Colombia, Japan, and Greece. <laughs> And that's when we see other, the drop off. Other team. That's when we see the drop. That's when the Twitch numbers and the GameSpot numbers just go. Blah, 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 blah. Thank you very much for hanging out this week in the lobby. Yeah. Uh, we'll be back next week as ever. Uh, thanks very much, Jeff Chris and Ryan McDonald, uh, everyone for coming on, uh, playing video games with us. Of course, Aaron Samson, Samson as well. Samson as well. Samson. We'll have Delilah on next week. Uh, yes, that's that's. Oh yeah, we know what to do. One more thing. I forgot about. Uh oh. We got more. We got, more, uh, we got giveaways for the Battlefield Hardline. You guys better download these like immediately. Sweet. Because you think, got like 48 hours. Apparently. I think these are different Unless they people. extend it. I think they we, are. There's only ten there. I think we need two more. You want to hear some winners? How about Amy Val's Dave? Great name. Yeah, going home to do crimes. Jojo six seventy one. You seem like a motorcycle driver to me. Cody underscore C. Please just get out of the top of that building and stop trying to snipe. Get into the action here. Adian X plays the Mac fifty three seventy nine Stingfish, and that's how I say things when they don't have vowels in them. Greedo fail. Let's hope you are better at gr crimes than Greedoing. <laughs> Ready, steady, Ryuk. Soda Pop 6580. Uh, 48. 48. Just want to be just want to be clear that was a 48. And Batgirl Chessy. Great. Sweet work, y'all. I hope all it. of you people actually Good have tweeting. PlayStation 4. <laughs> Thanks for tweeting. Hope you have the PlayStation 4s. Uh, remember. Do crimes or don't do crimes? That is the question. Uh, we've still got two more to give away, so keep retweeting and make sure you're following us. Uh, that's the GameSpot account went dead about, I don't know, let's say about an hour ago. Uh, we've still got a bunch more codes to give away. So yeah, keep retweeting or follow us. We can get make sure we DM you the codes. Uh, yeah, and then we spam your Twitter account for the next uh, next couple of months. Mercilessly. Yeah. Ye like third-party retweets. <laughs> Yep. To things that are like yep. Twitter gonna, with a few R's on the end of them. Give all your information to our friends at Ubisoft so they can make you play an even better experience. I got so pissed off at you play this morning. Uh, you're still it. carrying Sorry. that, aren't Sorry. you? Sorry, I gotta go. I gotta go. We can't do, do more you play. Uh, I want to also, yeah, okay, after the credits, stick around. We're going to have Rob Handley's amazing Grand Theft Auto community video, but uh, that's the lobby for this week. So thanks very much for hanging out. Chris Waters, thank you very much for hanging out. Bro, we'll see you guys next week. Have a great week. Play some video games. Steam sale. Money. Money, money, money.